Hello everyone, uh, welcome to a new video. On this video we're going to be creating the main card that's going to be holding our um, the books that we have read. It's going to look something like this. So we talked about this on, on the last tutorial and we're going to do it in this tutorial. So uh, we're just going to hard code the data just because uh, we don't have a database that we're working with uh, yet. But uh, we'll get something uh, hooked up to the, to the web application so that we can um, start working with the database as well but for now let's just do this alright so the first thing that you want to do so you just run the server just have your project ready so that you can see what you're changing in the components folder just create a new folder that's going to be called card and inside that one just create a new file that's going to be called um, uh, just book card the JS alright and then for that one once again we need the usual so we need to import React, we need to import some of the uh, elements that we're going to be using. So let, let me just grab something from here. So I'm just going to grab from, from here from the title container, which is this container, it's pretty similar, but we're going to be changing a few things. So just grab it and copy it here. And then um, the next thing that we want to do, so that we can see what's going on on the right, let's, um, let me just move this a little bit here. And let's just rename this. So this is gonna be book card. So if you go back to app.js, uh, we can display after the title container. So just uh, import it into this file here. Be something like that. And then I don't think it got imported. So let me let me just try it again and then it's here so make sure that you import all right so now it should be good and we should get like the same thing that we have here uh, because it's pretty similar right so because we just copy the same thing so for now it's just gonna look identical all right so we'll just start working with what we have here because it's it's pretty similar so let me just get rid of this here so here instead of first card let's just say uh, main card just like that and let's create another one that's gonna be uh, just a main container or something like that let's just change the font for now but we'll start adding stuff here all right and then so this is the card so now it's gonna be called main card and then for the container we'll have uh, main container all right cool all right, so we're good with that one. So now uh, come to the card. So we're gonna keep this, the color, we're gonna get rid of the color. So we want it to be um, like that. All right, um, I think this looks good. So we might leave that. I don't, I'm not sure if I have it for the for the other one. Let me see. You see for this one, it's not bold, uh, but I think it looks better like this. So we'll just uh, keep it for now, I guess. Let me just change this. Because the book here, you have the Great Gatsby, right? Here you have uh, the author, which is Scott. Here we'll just have like a like a random date, 2021 or something like that. And for this one, uh, here we're gonna be adding like a button. Let's just import the button here, All right? And then come down here. You can do something like that. And then here we'll just have like a button that's gonna say uh, more details so more details about the book and we'll just have something like uh, let me just style it a little bit so we'll have uh, BG secondary all right as you can see we we got everything correct here all right so this is what we have so if you come here and look at the let's go to the layout look at the grid you know we want you know four columns to be like the same size so we're gonna be adding you know this here so let's just come here where it says column let's just add uh just put a three there so this is important because let's say that i want to resize it right so you see how it gets uh all screwed up so you don't want that that's why we want to add this part here where it says uh you know it's extra small in this case so let me just add this here to all of them and we'll have four columns all right so now if I try to do thing you see it doesn't get messed up 
so that's uh, that's why we we added the excess here so the font size 22 let's just uh, make a 20 border radius have solid black here so we'll just keep that and then the height so let's change the height let's make it uh, oh the weight yeah we don't want to be bold the weight 50% I mean the height 50% all right cool that's exactly what we wanted and let's see what else do I have here let me add the, the box uh, shadow here so just box you can just copy this and we're good let me see what we get see you can see there's like a shadow so let me just get rid of the border uh, let's just keep the original design I guess all right and you can see there is like a shadow here all right so that looks good all right so now let's uh let's just see if it's gonna work for like a different size of a screen so go to more tools developer tools you can go here and well this is the ipad and for that one it works so let's use the iphone 12. all right so like if you come to the phone uh screen you can see that this um uh, this is not ideal it doesn't look that good so we have the spaces and all of that but uh i mean you can leave it in this way if you want to I'm just gonna make a few changes here and another thing that I notice is that here for the main container we have like the you know the font size let me just change it to 18 and then we don't need it for the car so I don't know why I put it there so let's just save that so that's not gonna fix it of course so we have to come here and then we'll just put like overflow uh, wrap and then we'll just say inherit and that should fix it so if you just save this so now it's not breaking the way it was breaking before uh, but uh, this looks a little bit tight so let me just get rid of the more details here we'll just put like details alright so as you can see it looks better uh, we still have the spaces and you know it looks uh, way better than before and the words are not breaking up anymore so except for this one but like you know it's not breaking up in the middle of the word so which is good alright so if we go back to the screen here you can see that uh, this is exactly how we want it so we have created the card and the next thing that we're going to be creating is uh, the modal, the modal for this. So once we click on it, on it it's going to be displaying a modal and then we'll be able to, to add a new book and then it's going to appear here. So we'll take care of the styling on the next tutorial and then we'll add also the functionality to add the book and work with, the, with a database. So that's all for this tutorial and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you.